Hello, my name is Jito Abraham, and in this video, I'd like to show you how to actually set up the zone trigger on the RTO series scopes. So for this example, I have a, a data stream that's going through, and you can actually see that on the trace. If I do a single shot, you can actually see all the different widths of the ones and zeros that are coming in. Now, to, uh, when we talk about trigger uh, on any scope, it's normally associated with a level. So as, as we change the level, that, that, that's normally what people think when we talk about trigger. Uh, now, with the zone trigger, users have the flexibility to actually choose exactly in their waveform where they want to trigger on and isolate. So uh, on the RTO, you have the zone trigger button here. That allows you to actually define a, a must intersect or must not intersect box. So uh, as a start, I'm going to say must intersect, and then I can draw a box here. And then it'll only isolate anything that's actually or where the waveform has actually hit the, uh, the ac that actual box. As a second step, I can do a must not intersect onto this portion here. And as you can see, I can keep adding logical states onto, onto my uh, definition of the trigger. And as you can see, if I do a single again, uh, you'll be able to see that I'm only capturing the waveforms that are actually uh, compliant to how I've actually kept that zone trigger or configured that zone trigger. So there you go, a, a quick example on how to actually configure the zone uh, and the, the different zones that you have. As you can see, you can create multiple amounts of zones and you can combine this with in time domain and also in frequency domain to see all the signals and isolate the events that you require. 